All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be working on Boyle's Law, one of the gas laws, using miniature marshmallows and a 60 milliliter or cubic centimeter syringe. So the first thing we need to do, know is how to put the marshmallows in the syringe. Step one, remove the plug. That's this uh, knotted piece of uh, uh, tubing from that. And in experiment one, we are supposed to put two mini marshmallows in the syringe. So we open it up all the way. Carefully take out two mini marshmallows, being careful not to crush them. Because remember, marshmallows are great for this because they're full of air. We put them in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try to decrease the volume on this. So we want the, in the first case, we want the plunger as large as possible because we're going to trap air in there and we need to decrease the volume. So then we place the tube on, push it in, and twist it clockwise to lock in the threads. Okay, then what you do is you'll use your hands then and watch the marshmallows and you will decrease the volume. As you decrease the volume, you observe what happens to the marshmallows. Release it, let it go back. Decrease the volume again. Carefully observe the marshmallows. And then once you've done that a few times, then you will just simply answer and explain what it says. Now where it says, describe how pressure changes as the volume of air decreases using the marshmallow example. So you would probably say, as the volume decreases, the pressure does something, either increases or decreases. And so the marshmallows either shrunk, squeezed, or grew, or something. So you would write that. If you want to make a little drawing to show marshmallow before, and then marshmallow after, you could do that too, okay? Now in experiment two, you will take and remove the marshmallows. So you take the, uh, the tube out, and actually you can leave the marshmallows in there. If they don't look too shrunken, that'll be fine. Now you will compress the plunger so that the marshmallows have just a barely enough room. Now make sure the plunger is not squeezing the marshmallows just so the marshmallows are kind of trapped in there. That's about all the room they have. Then put your tubing back on and twist it clockwise to lock it. And now in this case, you're going to increase the volume. So by pulling out, you will then make your observations and look at what happens. Put it back in, look at them at they start, look at them as they finish, see what happens is you increase the volume, what happens to the pressure, and then please write, draw, and explain then how pressure changes as volume of air increases using the marshmallow example. When you're done then, please make sure your name and period number on this, put it in the inbox. This is an individual grade. And then take your marshmallows out. Please do not eat the marshmallows. They've been around the lab for a while and they could be contaminated. And I kind of forget what I had in this jar last. Hmm, <laughs> that could be interesting. And uh, keep the marshmallows sealed up so they're nice and fresh for the next group. All right, go back and experiment with Boyle's Law.